Living among us, some people tend to have far more financial stability than we can ever attain. Their luxuries will make you gasp and stare in awe. Their taste in stuff will make your jaw drop and their standards will make you question your existence. Yes, we're talking about billionaires, and if you think about it, there's so much to talk about. According to a recent study, an average billionaire has only 1% of his entire earnings and savings in the form of liquid wealth. That means if a billionaire like Jeff Bezos swipes his credit card, it won't be surprising to see only a few thousand dollars in his bank account. Why is that? Where do billionaires keep their money? Stick to the end of the video to find out. Let's get started. Where do the billionaires keep their money? An extremely innocent question. Why don't billionaires keep their money in banks? In the form of cash, just like any normal person would. It is because this might make them extremely visible and noticeable for the authorities and the government. And why is that bad? That means they will have to be accountable for every single penny that they have in their bank accounts. They'll have to pay taxes and answer to the government where the money came from. Not only that, the fact that if you want to be successful, you have to invest your money in more than one place. And keeping it in bits in a different field is extremely important as well. Take a look at all the billionaires in the world. Do you think that Bill Gates invested in only one business? Do you think that Jeff Bezos has all of his money in one place? And do you really think that Tesla is the only thing that is profiting Elon Musk so much? It goes without saying that life is unpredictable. If you have all of your money invested in only one business and suddenly something unfortunate happens and you have to suffer from a big loss, that means all of your investments will be gone to waste. On the other hand, if you have invested relatively smaller shares in different businesses, then you have more chances of being successful. How? For example, if you invest in one business and after some time it suffers a major loss, what do you think will happen to the money that you invested? That's right, you will lose all of it. On the other hand, if you have invested relatively smaller amounts in different businesses and have your finances scattered, threats like unstable business, fluctuating currency value, and mishaps would be very less damaging in real life. Number 1. They keep it in a bank. But the bank that they keep their money in is quite different from the one where we keep our money. How? Think of it yourself. Your bank account might have a few thousand over, maybe a million. On the other hand, even though we said that an average billionaire only keeps 1% of his earnings in the form of liquid assets, it still means that their bank account is as heavy as it can be without attracting any negative or unnecessary attention that might make them accountable for every single penny that they own. This is why banks have special subsidies. It's not just a or raised interest. This is the best you can do. For example, there is a private wealth division meant for their wealthy clients that happen to have a jaw-dropping net worth. These clients are called HNW clients. These high net worth clients deal in millions and require special security and privacy to keep themselves shielded from authorities and negative attention. As this guy has invested his money in real estate throughout the United States, besides Hawaii and Lake Tahoe, Silicon Valley happens to be one of his favorite locations when it comes to investing money in real estate. And it's not like Mark Zuckerberg is the only billionaire who likes to invest in real estate. Unlike Bill Gates, who's known for his casual and laid-back choices and decisions, Jeff Bezos is also a big fan of investing in real estate. Therefore, he is the 25th biggest landowner in the world. So besides investing in different businesses, real estate, properties, and various projects, billionaires try their best to keep their money in scattered form, so it is harder to detect or suffer from a loss that might leave you bankrupt. Alright folks, that was all for today's video. Today we talked about where billionaires keep their money, and honestly, the answer is everywhere. Ever wondered how the richest CEOs travel? Click on subscribe button for more interesting videos. We'll see you next time.